Hello everybody, PizzaDo400 here, and today I'm going to show you how to finish up Nuclear Silo Bravo. Now I just decrypted this week's security code, which is Younger's, and the letters corresponding with them, the numbers I mean, and I'm going to show you how to get through the first part of the bunker. So as soon as you come down uh, on the elevator, you're going to need to find a biometric card uh, to get past the laser grid. There can be found uh, in the kitchen, they can be found in the uh, bunkers, they can be found in the lab room, wherever you, you might find them. They're, they're, they're just spread out and about everywhere. Um, now once you find one of those, you're going to want to make your way over to the lab room here, med tech area. And you're going to want to scan yourself outside of power armor through the biometric scanner. Now once you have that and one of the blank cards, you're going to want to go cross. Oh, shut up. And you're going to want to go to this room, the biometric systems terminal. You're going to want to erase the card. And you're going to want to go into the terminal and trigger the only option in there, which is to create a biometric ID. Now I have a biometric ID, so I went ahead and after you have that, you're going to want to head over to the security grid here and slide the card through. Once that's done, you will have the door open and you can go through these lasers here. Now we're in the second section here. So basically, as the bot just said, even though we have access to this area, uh, we're still deemed hostile by the security, so there's going to be a couple turrets and bots trying to stop you. Just make sure you clear them out. And uh, there's some loot spread out here and there. It's not really necessary or important um, if you're just here to launch the nuke like I am, but I have launched it recently and needed to go ahead and come back around since the loot respawn to open up some of these crates. Warning. Warning. Reactor breach detected. So this reactor breach, uh, it's not necessary to go through it, it's completely optional, but the only way you can go through it uh, is if you actually have level 3 security and level 3 lockpicking. Now there is a lot of security in this room so you're going to want to be prepared. If you don't have a suit of power armor uh, just pray that you have enough stim pack to fight off a small army because that's basically what you're going to be doing here. Now here's the first door requiring level 3 lockpicking to get through. Oh shush, there's going to be more turrets in here, Give me some ammo, huge, more ammo, now after you've reached this room the only way you're going to be able to continue is if you have level 3 security, I do not and even though I do not, that's okay, because I just wanted to show this room and the possibility of speed running this area. But I also want to show what you have to do if you have neither of those. Which is essentially come to this main reactor area, shut down the reactor, and after you've completed that, you'll have to repair all the pipes. So I'm going to go through and shut down the reactor really quick. And now it's going to give you about two, maybe three minutes to repair every one of the pipes in this room. Oh, and the respawn, huge. It's been about two days since I've run through this area, so... There is a lot of ammo out and about for me, which is the most important thing to me, is ammo. I don't... I have some pretty good weapons and such, but ammo is just hard to come by. Even though I have over a thousand rounds on the bottom right, um... 
fighting Scorch Beast, uh, ammo just basically goes out the window. So you're going to want to go ahead and find all the pipes that are making sizzling sounds. And if there's some that you can't get to because you're confused or maybe you you missed one or two, don't worry because once you get down to the last couple pipes, there will be waypoints to show you which ones are left. That way you don't miss any or end up running out of time because you can't find which pipe's what. I'm actually going to go through and take that turret out because he is interrupting me when I'm speaking and it's pissing me off. Fix the pipes. Now, it looks like I have almost every pipe and you can see waypoints are now being placed above which pipes need to be fixed. Because there are some pipes that are a little bit obscure, like this one over here. And now, that should be it for the pipes. Oh, it didn't register. Oh yeah, it did, okay. Digital security required. Now that you've done that, you have a minute to, or I have a minute currently, but depending on how fast you repair the pipes, your remaining time will be spent just restarting the reactors. And now that all the pipes are repaired and the reactor has been restarted, you can just head straight to the control room. Because this bunker door that was originally closed is now wide open. Now there's a couple ammo piles hidden around the area. Like for instance this one right here. And there's a second pack. So you just want to be careful and make sure that you find some of these. Because depending on which weapon you're using, or if you have the uh, luck perk to find more ammunition, uh, it would be best to monopolize as many of these as you can. Now, I'm a bit of a heavy weapons nerd, so I prefer to keep these big guns. So basically, after you've reached this room, you're going to want to find each one of these little mainframes. They look like little circuit boards, and you're going to want to shoot them. Because the goal right now is to break all the mainframes so we can get to the next area. We need to basically shut the system down ourselves. So I'm just going to double check. Looks like I've shot every one of them in this area. Yep. Then I can start heading to the next room and break these. There's an alarm clock, missiles here, I'm going to be taking those. And there's a turret, I don't know how I missed that. Security is really tight around this place, so you're going to want to make sure that you clear them out every time you enter a room. Now you don't have to shoot these necessarily, you can walk up to them and destroy them with, by pressing E. But uh, I don't really care for it. I feel like it's better to do it this way. And an interesting fact is, if you can't, um, if you have level three um, lock picking, you can just skip this part and go right through this door here. There we go. And this is the main room for this area. And as you can see, it is filled with hostiles to the brim. You're going to be fighting assault trons, sentry bots, brain robots, sentries coming out of the ceiling. You know, just about everything under the sun. Protectrons. This is a hell hole room, to say the least. Luckily everything in here only drops ammunition, machine parts, circuitry, basically everything you would really want to be picking up. So not having to deal with anything heavy, so you can just collect all and you don't have to like pick through the loot one at a time. 
Alright, I've wiped out most of the security in the area, so I'm gonna start breaking some of these mainframes here. And also, you're gonna be, you're gonna wanna pick up some of these, uh, the circuitry and such from the robots because there will be a section where you'll have to repair 15 of these little mainframes that you broke. And although they aren't extremely expensive to build, you'll need the circuitry. Yeah, two bullets left. Let's go. There we go, that should be just about it. Mainframe integrity compromised. Avoiding security protocol. Engineering team. There we go. Broke enough of it so that we can get to the next spot. Now this laser grid is open for us to traverse through. And uh, as for hidden ammo caches up here, I don't really think there's much. It's not really much to be seen. Um, so we're just going to continue forward. There is a footlocker and an ammo cache in this area if you're curious and want to see what's in them. I believe this footlocker is mostly just grenades and mines. Nope. Ammo and all sorts of things. Now I'm going to drop a couple things because I am starting to get over encumbered. And that's just about the, the last thing you want to be happening when you're in an area like this. So let's just push on through with some of this. And I'm going to take some Mentats as well, just for the extra intelligence, which intelligence correlates directly to experience points. So the more intelligence you have, the more experience you will earn. Now you see, you'll, you'll start seeing these mainframe cores littered about. And you might not know what to do with them at first, but if you start picking them up, as soon as you see them, you won't have to craft those. That'll save you parts and time. I hear a sentry bot. There is a sentry bot in the next room. I fucking, I hate fighting sentry bots. Just because in 76, they're so slow to explode. So you see there's already a couple that I'm finding. And it is possible to find uh, just about all of them without crafting them, which will save you time. But, uh, it's good, it's, oh, okay. Oh, he's a legendary, too. Alright, and you see, he's, he's just sitting there in an awkward state now. I can go up and loot him, run away, and he still doesn't blow up. Waiting. There it is. Takes a good second. Of course, this guy took no damage. It must be because he's big brain. No, I'm not gonna lie to you, Chief. This whole area is filled with just bots upon bots upon bots upon bots. I mean, to be fair though, what were you expecting? This is a nuclear silo. You're gonna be fighting a lot of security. There we go. Now I've dealt with the majority of security, so I'm gonna quickly lockpick this, just cause there might be some screws in here, which I desperately need. No screws, very sad day today is, but there we go, looted just about everything in the area. And now we're gonna head over to the main area here. And you see we have to repair these damaged cores. So I'm gonna pick all of these up really quick. Now it is a little delayed when you press them. You'll see that it's it's a little strange. But now that I've collected all those, you can do it before or after. But it's gonna tell you to do that anyways. So there we go. Now I'm going to insert some of the ones that I found.
I don't know how many I have. I did pick up some last time, so we're about to find out. Alright, looks like I had 13 out of 15, so I need to find two more. Which means, luckily, I don't have to go over to a bench. But, let's say you don't find all of them that are littered about. You're going to want to follow the waypoint, and it's going to bring you right to a tinkerer's workbench. And in the the same room, you'll find some mainframe cores too. So, they're they're really everywhere. Ooh, ooh, a suit of power armor. I need the I need the right arm because I have a I have a T fifty one B that's missing it. There we go. Now let me go find one more mainframe core. There it is. Now that that's done, I'm going to put the last two in. And bam. You can now access the door. Let's get that security door open. And now we can start heading to the next area. Now they want you to head left and go through the doorway, but uh, I like to explore a little bit, and this saves you time too. You don't have to go this way. There is absolutely nothing to be seen. You're going to want to just head straight into the missile silo. And here is the big bad missile. It's fucking massive. But we're going to keep going to the next area. You'll head up a flight of stairs, and you'll reach the next room. And this is the main room where you're, you're going to be spending most of your time. And this is also where you're going to launch the, the coats for the silo. Fucking piece of meat. There we go. Holy shit. Now this room is absolutely packed full of enemies, so you don't want to clear them all out before you access the console. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. I wonder what I picked up that's so heavy. Oh, it was the power armor piece. Ironic. Let's drop some of this. Uh, we don't need all this here. And we'll take some buff out too. Yep, good to go. Got a little buff. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and start initiating the launch prep now that most of the security is dealt with here. <laughs> Initiate launch prep, it'll be at the very bottom. You don't have to worry about the rest of that mumbo jumbo on that screen. Now, there will be bots that are friendly that will be coming your way, and you'll see them with a marker. Like here, he's very cute looking, but this is the launch control chief. He is going to start the procedure, and you're going to defend him. That is the goal. And at the end, there will be about five or six that you'll have to defend while being pressured constantly by assault trons, sentry bots, protectrons. Just everything under the sun is going to attack you, essentially. Everything that's that is a robot, or ever has been. Now this main area is clear. And the chief's gone to work, and you can see just how slow it is. The progress meter. This is going to take you about five five minutes, I would say. It really depends on if you can manage to protect them or not, because there will be more and more appearing over time, which will speed up the process. But if one of the chiefs die, you're, you're going to end up having to wait for another one to take its place to continue the process. So you want to make this quick and painless. Clear. 
Mm. I just heard an assault tron. I gotta take care of him. Assault trons will literally just melt your chiefs. Gutsies aren't really a big deal. All right, another chief just came out. I got two more. Two more that I must defend. And it looks like this section's okay for him to come through, but I have to make sure the other guy's all right. Oh shit, where's the assault? Oh, the assault tron's right next to that chief. I gotta deal with him really quick. Or her, you know, it's, it's a robot, essentially. You're funky looking. Yep, that would be the sound of something just obliterating my poor bots. Ah, he only he only took a couple rounds. Must be the yep. Sentry took care of it. Pocket and Robo Brain. Now, if you can continue to play this game of tower defense, you'll be able to get through this part pretty smoothly. I haven't found that Assault Tron yet. It's making me uncomfortable. Is it... is it close? Doesn't look like it. Alright, looks like the last two chiefs are now active, which is really going to speed this up. But that also comes with more energy, so I gotta deal with these fuckers. Oh my god, poor lad's getting blown to pieces. <gasps> Excuse me. Lead scrap's really important, and just about everything in here drops lead scrap, so this is like... If you wanted to make ammo, this is the place to get your uh, required resources. Even if you don't have a code, you can do the silo too and collect ammo. <gasps> there it is! That would be the Assault Tron. I, I'm glad I caught him in time because I almost, I swear this Assault Tron was about to tear apart my poor, my poor chief here. Is there a Protectron nearby? You okay? <laughs> he's just face planted on the floor, but he's alive. He's doing his job, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna fuck with a. Eh, I've got time. Lockbox, lockbox. Wow, a globe. Interesting. All right, a whole extra layer is now coming out of security. There's a robo brain. Yep. Yeah. If you ever see smoke just randomly deployed in certain areas, it's a robo brain, and they're a pain in the ass. I'm just patrolling the area. It looks pretty clean. My gun is on the verge of breaking. Let's see where it's at. It's got a little bit left. I'm gonna have to swap to my flamethrower soon. Luckily this is getting to the end of it, so soon there won't be anything else being pumped out at you. There we go. Wow, just what I wanted to be over encumbered. Thank you game. Oh, I didn't realize I had a, uh, I had a challenge for that. All right, that is done. Now, for the good part. Now, this section is basically where all all the all the big the big big stuff comes in. So I, you you don't have to do this necessarily, but if you want to launch the nuke, this is how you do it. You need to get the code pieces. So, 
in my inventory, you're, you're going to want to go to the uh, the notes section, and uh, you're going to find eight code pieces for the silo that you're going to, like Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie. And I have the eight pieces here, and you can see they have a, a letter and a number next to them. And these will break after about a week, so you're going to want to find them within a week. Uh, it's very easy to do. You go, go to the White Spring Bunker and trigger the search, and you, it's just you don't have to find them like uh, throughout the world, but you, you can you could choose to do a quest to, f to search them out. And so these are th this is my eight letters with their corresponding numbers. And now that I have that, you're going to want to take the standard alphabet because you have to decrypt this. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and then you have the, the alphabet with the code word for the week removed from it. And the code word for this week is mashing. You'll find it in the White Spring Bunker. And so you're going to take like my code word and you're going to take mashing all the letters and remove it from the regular alphabet. So after that's done, this is what we're, we're left with. And you're going to add mashing to what we're left with here and you're going to line them up. And then from the, the restructured alphabet here, you're going to find your code letters. Like I took, I found G, I, K, L, Q, R, you, you, you essentially get it. And then you're going to want to line that up with the new, the, the regular alphabet. And you're going to want to take those code letters from the recreation with the, the code word from the White Spring Bunker and bas basically just, just transfer them. It's pretty easy. Just line them up and, and write down what you see. So like you see uh, I from the restructured one becomes E from the standard alphabet. And you're going to want these letters because these letters become a word. And you could see this is what it is now. So like uh, up here, you see G is four, G is four here. I became E, I is still four, even though it's four here. K became, became N and there was eight, still eight. So you're gonna wanna take this, these letters and find out what word it is on scramble. Now it's really easy to do that with an anagram solver. Um, you just wanna toss it in there and say, and, and it'll descramble de the word for you. Um, and this, there was only one word that had eight letters that, that, that could be spelt with, with these letters, and that's Younger's. So you see how Y is two? Oops, I just messed with it a little bit, my bad. So Y is still gonna be two down here. You're gonna take these, and you're going to take the letters up here and their numbers correlated. Like you see G here is four, so G and Younger's is still gonna be four. And this is the launch code. So I'm gonna put this on my second monitor so I can get this ready. But now that I've decrypted it, you're going to need that nuclear key card. Accepted. Keypad access granted. Now, the targeting computer, you need the code first. So over here, I'm going to start putting the code in. So the code was 202-84491. Access current status. Defcon 1. Repeat. Defcon 1. All personnel. Here we go. I'm now going to target on the map where I want to launch this nuke. Now these big green zones, you cannot launch a nuke in a green zone. That's basically where all the main quests are. That's where the game starts. Uh, you do not want to ruin other people's experiences. Now people will constantly toss nukes like right now. Uh, we have the, the, the Fast Knocked event, the festival. Uh, people will nuke the festival constantly. That's where these people are right now. And um, that is uh, just very sad. It's a very sad way to live. But down here, my mission is to nuke Fissure Site Prime. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, let's go. I'm so ready. I want to see this nuke launch. Oh, why am I so overweight all of a sudden? Uh, it's because they gave me a bunch of bullshit. Oh, there it goes. Alright, the nuke's going off. I gotta go see this for myself. I'm going to travel to the fissure site. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh, no. The game is literally just cucking me right now. I'm going to drop this rocket launcher. 
I gotta go see this. I gotta wait. It's so cool. Alright, I'm here at Fissure's site. Just right outside. Fissure site prime. Which is in this direction. Oh, I'm so ready. Let's see this nuke. Now, I'm currently in the blast zone, so I should probably head out of this area. Oh, I'm so ready. I think there should be a, a quest for this, no? Doesn't look like this place has been nuked yet. I don't see the nuke quest. Oh, there it is. 30 seconds. All right, let's get into position. I got to see this. So here's the main blast zone. Oh, I got to get up high and I have to get away because I'm still in the blast zone. Which is gonna kill me. I'm just gonna get right outside the blast zone. Alright. I am clear. Scorch Beast Queen. Now this is the Scorched Earth event. This is kind of like a, a big deal. Oh man, this is beautiful. I gotta get a, a screen a screen cap of this. All right, now I'm gonna go take on the Scorch Beast Queen. But that is essentially how you launch a, nu launch a nuke in Fallout 76.